Not gonna lie to you, I'm going to be terrified this entire video that I'm going to end up with pink all over my shirt. And the white represents the snow that is currently outside on my lawn. Or at least it is while I'm filming. Hopefully it'll be gone by the time this video goes out. See flowers. Flowers represent spring. Spring should be outside. Well, as well as in here, because I like flowers. But still, Mother Nature, figure it out. Hello everyone! I'm here today with another Sephora haul and I'm very excited because I got a lot of new products that I'm excited to play around with um, and I just I have them all kind of sitting on my desk behind me. I'm surprised none of them have rolled on the floor yet. I've been collecting a whole bunch of products over the last little while from various little hauls that I've been doing online as well as a couple of PR samples and I kind of brought them all together and I wanted to share with you guys my first impression on everything and then in two weeks I will come back and I will share with you guys after testing the products for two weeks what I have thought of them, what worked, what didn't, um, what my favorites were, what my least favorites were, and all that fun stuff. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. And new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, as well as for the springtime every Friday. I'm going to be doing a first impression Friday, so check out the video that I did last week in case you missed it. And without further ado, let's get into this. So the first product I want to talk about is a palette from Tarte. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 Skin Twinkle. It says here it's a lighting palette as opposed to a highlighting palette. Actually, you know what? I think I ordered this off of the Tarte website because I finally, finally bought the Shape Tape Concealer because Canadians know that it is not available at the Sephora and we don't get Ulta. Ulta, please ship to Canada. We need you here. But I'm pretty sure you can buy this at Sephora, so I'm gonna include it in this haul anyway. And uh, let's open this bad boy up, because I've been keeping this for a while and I really wanna open it. So this is what the packaging looks like. These are some of my absolute favorite colors. So, so far, so good. It smells sort of um, like, a, like a faint chocolatey smell. And the colors are beautiful. So it's clearly a highlighting palette. It has four different shades, daylight, skylight, spotlight, and candlelight. And we gonna swatch this, because I love me a good highlight. Whoa, formula though. Oh, yup, yup, feeling this. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, it was a little bit crumbly, but we saved it. It's okay. That is beautiful. I really like that. It gives a really nice sheen to the skin. It is over the top, it is very strong, but it's not glittery, which I like. Okay, let's continue. Actually, you know what? Let's just skip ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swatch all of them for you. All right, so those are all of the shades on my hand right now, and they are, I will say, I think these are going to show up better on the face than they are on the hand. They don't, they, I mean, they swatch beautifully, like you can see that, but they are a little bit crumbly, like very buttery, not dusty. But I think in trying to swatch it, I was rubbing too much on my finger and then trying to put it on my hand and it just was a, clumping up a little bit. And I think that it'll work a lot better with a brush. So I'm excited to test this out on my face. The colors are beautiful. I'm clearly a big fan of these two shades because I think those are going to be the most flattering with my skin tone. Um, the other shades are nice, but they're, I don't think, gonna show up on my skin the way I would want them to. Um, but yeah, I am excited to play around with this. Next up are some more highlighting products because it seems to be a trend for brands right now. Everything must be illuminated. We have the Naked Skin Highlighting Fluids and I have not tested these yet. There is Aura and Luminous. I love their powder highlights. I think they are beautiful. A little bit more on the subtle side of things, so maybe this is their answer to something that's a little bit more dramatic, if you will. It says here, illuminating, optical blurring, and weightless. Whoa, Luminous is white. Curious how this looks on the face. Actually, this is probably gonna be good, especially when I have like no self-tanner on. And also, I won't ruin my shirt. Okay, so I looked it up on the Sephora website and it says here that it is great for every complexion type, including dry or mature skin. It is very wearable, even if you're not normally the highlighter type. So something tells me that this is gonna be more on the subtle side of things, surprisingly. I thought this was gonna be like really strong and dramatic, but apparently not. Subtle pearlescent pigments diffuse light for perfect looking skin. Um, and the colors that I got, so Luminous is ideal for fair, wait, hold on, there we go, Luminous. Luminous is ideal for fair skin and can be layered under foundation. And then Aura is supposed to be a color that is great for every skin tone, so. Let's swatch these bad boys. Okay, I'm really glad I read that on the website because I would have been super disappointed thinking it was gonna be dramatic and that's what it ends up with. So this is gonna be great if you want skin that's not gonna look overdone, that is just naturally radiant and glowy and something that is of this kind of a texture is going to look much more natural, especially in the summertime. I think this will look really nice, just sort of um, blotted onto the skin with a beauty blender. Blotted, is that the right word? It's very light, it has a nice luminosity to it. it kind of reminds me of the RMS um, Magic Luminizer that I'm in love with. It is a beautiful, beautiful highlight if you guys are looking for something that is 
strong but looks really natural like it looks like your skin is legit glowing from within so maybe this is gonna be something similar to that I don't know I'm gonna test it out and let you know next up is a new skincare product and this was sent as a press sample it's from Lancome and it is their visionaire crescendo progressive night peel wrinkles pores dullness those are all things I dislike continue so it says here on the package that it is an overnight progressive peel that helps to fight the first signs of aging fine lines and large pores and lack of luminosity oh I see okay it's split into two phases so it has one phase that you're supposed to use for 14 days and then the second phase for the second 14 days and it's supposed to give you a better luminous looking skin I don't want wrinkles now I'm not prepared for that yet and I feel like every time my children start to learn how to like walk upstairs or they fall and bump their knee or something like that just another little fine line gets on and is like boop so I will test this out for you guys and I will let you know what's up next up are the new NARS velvet matte lip pencils and these were sent as press samples there's six different shades here but I feel like there are more like I feel like there's a like a large variety within this particular line um, and they're ranging from everything from really nice creamy neutrals to blue dark blue so I went on the website and I was right they're like there I can't even count that many that's that's a lot of pencils so it has unique silicones to ensure a long-lasting effect as well as vitamin E to leave it feeling creamy and not drying out your lips and it feels like a lot of brands have been going after that whole like velvet texture which I believe I guess is more of a softer matte I think is kind of what that <laughs> that means I'm not really sure to be honest so let's watch a couple of these bad boys so first we have intriguing I'm like barely pressing on my hand and it's giving really nice color payoff which is good I'm excited about that that's really really pretty and I like that color actually that's kind of a nice peachy neutral kind of a shade it's very pretty let's try something a little bit more dramatic this is let's go crazy that's not as pigmented as I thought it was and I'm also like comparing it to my my lip color here which is actually a drugstore uh, it's the wet and wild uh, cat suit liquid cat suit whatever it's called yeah that one it's not as pigmented as that it is very pretty and it feels very comfortable on, on the <laughs> Does it feel comfortable in the hand? That's weird. And lastly, let's try the blue one. This is unspoken. I had to go over it a couple of times to get a really pigmented payoff. Um, it was a little bit streaky when I'm applying it to my hand. So we'll see how this wears on the lips. Cause like right now it's like fine, but it's not as like wow as I was expecting it to be. I'm gonna wipe this off my hand because we all know otherwise it's going to end up on my shirt. Next up is a lipstick from Tarte. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash Lipstick in the shade Salt Life. And I've been seeing a lot of really good things online about this, so I bought one of them just because I wanted to see if I liked the consistency. And uh, woo, I like this packaging. That is really pretty. I want a desk that looks like that. How boss would that be? Ooh, that's really pretty. Cool tone, mauve, creamy, all of the things that I like in a lipstick. It's got a nice classic cream sheen kind of a finish to it. It's nice and smooth. It feels like it's got some hydrating benefits to it. According to the website, it says it is a long wearing, full coverage hydrating lipstick. It has intense pigments, but it also conditions the lips so it's going to stay locked in place, but still keep your lips feeling nice and smooth. So we'll see how long wearing this is. I'm kind of curious what they mean by long wearing. I don't know if there's like an actual definition. I'm sure there is among like the the makeup brands for what long lasting means versus long wearing versus waterproof and all those different things so I will test out for you guys and I will let you know how long wearing it is and how it feels on the lips and all that fun stuff now onto a product from Stila this is their stay all day 10 in 1 HD illuminating beauty balm and it says here it's going to add a touch of illumination um, with HD age defying beauty balm that has an SPF of 30 I love how there's like so much information anytime any brand contains some sunscreen it's got like a full on like back of the package how to put on sunscreen it's intense it says here it will reduce the appearance of pores control shine smooth and and reduce the appearance of redness it has some sort of microspheres in it to reduce the appearance of fine lines it's got like a, like a, a billion well 10, 10 to be exact gonna say a billion that's too much oh it's a foundation wait hold on I'm confused I thought this was gonna be like illuminating just because of the packaging it's very like shiny and stuff I don't know I don't see any like crazy illumination other than the fact that it's not dry yet on my hand 
um, but it smells really nice and it seems to have a little bit of coverage to it. I don't know. I think this might be nice for summertime, so I will test it out and I'll let you know. Next up are the new um, heart-shaped highlighters from Too Faced. These are sent as press samples. There are three different ones. There's Ray of Light, You Light Up My Life, and Blinded by the Light. And um, I think this one is gonna be my jam. I'm gonna save this actually because I want to do like another full-faced first impressions video. So I think I'm gonna use this for it. So I'm just gonna set that to the side and add it to that one. So I don't want to test it in advance. I don't want to spoil my first reaction. We could test these other ones. By the way, I know I just watched it, but like, look how pretty that is. That is very gold. That is not gonna look good on my skin tone at all. And then here is Ray of Light. It's not as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be. Am I the only one who thought that was gonna be super pigmented and it's not? I mean, it's a really pretty color, but it just doesn't show up very well. I don't know. There, that's a little bit better. I had to like really layer it on though. So I don't know. I'm not totally sold on this yet. Hopefully the lighter one is a little bit better. Um, but as of like the other two, I don't know. Mm, I'm on the fence about them. I also have a new palette. This is from NARS, their new Narcissist Loaded Eyeshadow Palette. Now I did try this out on my eyes a couple of, like a week or two ago. Um, so I have tried out a couple of these colors and they're beautiful. I like how they are very smooth and easy to blend out on the eyes. And they have a really nice highlight shade. <laughs> Yay! It has a little bit of a sheen to it. It looks very nice on the inner corners and yeah I'm going to play around with this a little bit more maybe I'll do like a little like um an Instagram tutorial or something like that and use this palette for you guys but it's a really pretty palette so far and I will continue to test out and see if there are any other colors I'm really enjoying next up are some concentrated luminizing drops this is by the brand Algenis and I don't think I've tried anything from this brand before but these caught my eye in the store and I was like ooh <laughs> I want to try that this is in the shade champagne or a soft gold it has illuminating correcting and anti anti-aging properties in it. You can apply it with your makeup, under your makeup, over your makeup. It has a bunch of different purposes. So it comes with like a little dropper thing like this. I'm going to put some on my hand. So that is what it looks like. It is very, it's gold and I think that'll look really nice mixed in with my foundation. It is definitely not like highlighter, like super strong, but it has that nice subtle iridescence and it has almost a, a more of a warm undertone to it. So that'll be really nice for the summertime. And as it's drying, it's getting a lot more strong and it's really picking up some of those gold champagne undertones to it. Really pretty though. I'm excited to play around with this. And it dries down to feel like nothing on the hand. That's really nice. I'm excited. Yeah, I like it so far. I don't like the smell of it though. Maybe it's just a mix of all the other products that I put all over my hands, but like, no thank you. I don't like that. Next up is a new YSL product and this is the Touche Eclay Cushion. It's a liquid foundation compact and I think it has the whole Touche Clay stuff in it so it's supposed to be like more on the glowy end of things which that's always fun. And apparently the applicator has two sides to it. One for a natural finish and one for a sophisticated finish. I don't know what that means but that sounds fancy. The sponge is split down the middle and it has a softer side, I guess that's the natural side, and then more of a, like a spongy side, which I guess is for a sophisticated finish, which I don't know, they didn't explain what that meant. Oh, I see, it's for more of a, an intense finish, as they call it, so full coverage, I think, is what we can boil that down to meaning. Woo, that has a scent to it. it smells a little bit like a perfume, like a, like a springy kind of a garden perfume, I don't know. <laughs> Whoa! Well, that's not my shade. That is really full coverage though. Okay, try it with the other side. I don't know, it looks the same on my hand. I have no idea, it's just completely and utterly the wrong shade for me. So I'm gonna have to find my correct shade. So it says here it is in the shade B50 Honey. That is just, that is definitely not my shade. I will exchange that for something that is my shade. I will test that out, but it looks like it has very full coverage and I'm curious about the whole like two-sided sponge thing, if that's actually gonna make any sort of a difference, so. I will test that out and I will let you guys know. And lastly is the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer, Fluid Sheer, just period, Fluid Sheer, done. This was sent as a press sample and it's very pretty, very pretty packaging. I have to give props to them. I love their packaging. I need to read online what this is about because it gives no information on the packaging. It is supposed to perfect sculpt and illuminate the skin. It can be used as an eyeshadow base, blush, bronzer, all skin types, translucent formula, easily blend in with foundation, etc., etc. Okay, so this is kind of like a be all, end all product to give yourself a nice luminous glow. 
Got it. Okay, I'm gonna shake it away from my shirt. <laughs> okay, so that's what that looks like. That feels a little bit dark. I don't know about all skin tones. It's got a teeny bit of a sheen to it. I will test it as like an eyeshadow primer, as a base, and mix in with foundation, all those different things, and we'll see if it's actually worth the price, because the price on here is uh, $68 Canadian. That's expensive. It has almost like a like an oily kind of a finish to it, so I don't know if you, like if you have oily skin, you probably aren't going to like this very much. But I will test it out and let you guys know like how it wears throughout the day. If it's going to make me look like an oil slick all over the face, or if it's going to make me look nice and hydrated and dewy, which is <laughs> fingers crossed the goal here. And that's everything for this haul. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of these videos, and stay tuned so you don't miss out on the update in two weeks' time where I'll give you guys my full opinions after testing everything out a little bit more thoroughly. But hopefully you guys enjoyed these first impressions. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah. Oh my gosh, have my nails been chipped this entire video? I swear I painted them like an hour before I filmed. Oh my gosh. Great. Glad we waited until the end of the video to figure that out. Mwah.